Vale, pues bienvenidos a la rueda de prensa de Dick Redder, después de este Castellón 1 Melilla 0. Preguntas para el míster, Jorge. Bueno, en primer lugar, enhorabuena por un triunfo de casi dejado el ascenso casi, casi sentenciado. Te quería preguntar tu una valoración general del partido, por un lado del desarrollo del encuentro, un partido que era difícil, sabemos que, que aquí no hay rival sencillo, se ha complicado, se ha ido madurando poco a poco, y luego por otro lado el, la valoración del propio resultado, un triunfo corto, pero que son los puntos de oro. Yeah, uh, first of all, everybody could see that it was a difficult game. Um, in forehand, I already expected that. Everybody who comes here wants to win from us and he wants to perform against the number one. Um, they maybe have also a lot of players who maybe have not yet a contract for next year. So they want to prove themselves. Um, second, yeah, the game of the game was, was of course not good, but this is what happens in the end of the season. Uh, we play already 37, 38 official games, maybe. So that's a lot. We don't have a lot of with the cup games there. We don't have a lot of uh, weekends off. So it's gonna be it's a heavy season. Um, so I'm very happy with the team performance that we win this game. But that it was not the nicest game, I understand. But I'm not expecting that because the, the team is really focused, uh, is maybe a little bit nervous. Um, a lot of people maybe already think that we are promoted, what is totally not the case because we need to play till the end of the season. I have no clue. It's a record. <laughs> I, I can't say anything. It's the same. We also have a record that we win six games in a row. So I look more positive on that. Uh, maybe the penalty situation is now maybe a little bit affecting the total team like a big pressure thing. Um, in the end, when we win the games, I'm fine with it. I think uh, maybe one game where we may be good advantage with scoring a penalty was maybe Aljokano away. Of yeah, uh, where Mojita missed the penalty and we had a lot of chances in the first half. Uh, the rest, I think the team recovered well and they show really that they are a team. And um, uh, yeah, and also after today when we missed, we the last few minutes, I think they, they tried to get the win there. So, yeah, of course it's not good, but we can't change it. It's like a little thing, a little, little big thing for us now. Um, yeah, Lotin, I think uh, he wanted to play, um, to take the risk. It was maybe more my decision. Uh, because I think Dani came on a few times very good and trains very good uh, and he could uh, replace him. So hopefully Lotin has a good uh, recovery week and he can uh, play next week. Um, with Demi, I don't know. I think with his shot, he felt a little bit in his growing. So we have to see how, uh, how that is. Um, further, I'm happy that uh, Calavera uh, could make some minutes again. Everybody could see that he was a little bit struggling. Everybody can now also understand why he is not playing because he was out for a long time. And that's why you have to make those decisions to help the player uh, instead of that we put him in and that he is maybe yeah, struggling. Um, and he just finishes a whole week's training with the team. And hopefully with next week, he can finish the second week with training and he's a lot further. So then the option maybe to play him is a lot higher. Eh, lo primero no habla por la victoria y yo te quería preguntar por Yuso, jugador que ha estado a un partido fuera, ha disputado minutos en el B y ahora mismo ha hecho un partido con, ante un hueso muy duro de error como puede ser Sidiki y se ha vuelto indiscutible como valoras los minutos de hoy y la evolución que ha tenido el jugador durante toda la temporada. Okay, uh, Yosha came here as a prospect uh, to develop. Um, he was 18 when he came. Um, He, for him, everything is also new, even if he, if he is Dutch, so also for the Spanish players. But for him, it took a little bit longer, but it's also normal when you are so young. Um, now, because of also the injuries, he's playing more and more and more, and we are very happy with him. 
Um, we just look at his development. Uh, he plays on the high pressure. Uh, we need to, uh, like everybody also wants to win the league. Uh, we also want to win the league. So, yeah, um, we are very happy with his performance. Um, he's working hard, um, but that also counts for all the players, to be fair. Yeah, this is the style how we play. You can see it also, you saw it also in uh, last year in Zwolle. Uh, a lot of players played on different positions. Uh, this is also what you see this year. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's better that players can score goals, that you have more than that you only have uh, like now in the start we had more like Harris and we had uh, Damie uh, and now you also see other players score yeah uh, that also happened in Zwolle there were players they never scored a goal and then yeah there was a player from the belt uh, he maybe scored one or two goals a season and he scored last year 17 goals yeah um, and he played on the number six position so can you imagine uh, yeah it, it's it's in the style how we play. We don't really look at positions. We look at spaces where we want to go and where we want to run. Uh, and hopefully everybody comes in a position to score a goal, even the defenders. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put Oscar Jill <laughs> there, you know, then people can talk again about him. So, nah, uh, we, we, uh, we will see. We have to see how Damien is. He's very important for us as a team. Also, when he doesn't score uh, at the moment for, uh, yeah, he doesn't really score like regular what he did before the winter. But everybody knows after winter, things are changing always, different. Um, yeah, so we will uh, we will have to see. Uh, if he uh, can't play, then someone else needs to play, of course. I want to ask, because this evening, if Cordoba pincha contra el Málaga, the team will be in the position to ascend, winning in Murcia. I don't know how you'll see this match, if you'll see it with intensity, if you'll see it with tranquility, and also how you'll encounter a match that can be explained in the case of the decision of the option of the Supermoon. No, I, I, I'm not going to watch the game um, because, uh, yeah, I don't like to watch, uh, to be fair, the other. I like to watch the opponents where we play against. So for me, it's more important that we, I watch uh, Murcia. Um, yeah, and for us, it's going to be whatever happens, it's going to be very important next week again. We have four games to go. Uh, there is a lot of stress, tension in the team. Uh, we try to help the players. Uh, I also feel there is a lot of stress, tension, maybe I have to say it in a good way, in the, in the stands, in the stadium. Uh, I think it's, it's going to be difficult for last games, two away games, two home games. I think we just need everybody. We need to, uh, I, uh, today I felt maybe a little bit, uh, I'm the first one who's very critical on my team. I also feel a little bit from the stand uh, where I saw that one or two players got whistled. Um, this normally I could understand, but at, at the moment it's, diff it's different. If, you, if we play a game like this during the season, like maybe the fifth or the sixth or the seventh game, I'm happy with it that they are not satisfied. But this, at this, at this moment, I think we need everybody. We need uh, we need to be there to help the team uh, and to support them in in the right way. I'm not saying that I don't that I don't feel support, but I, I feel a little bit. For my feeling, it feels a little bit critical. Um, that's why I really say we as a staff we are the first uh, one who is very critical on the players. But at this moment, I think uh, whew, um, we all want to go up. We all want to go to the next league and we need to do this step by step. And there, I think uh, we just need to stand by each other and to keep on going like this.